you work a full-time job, you have a YouTube channel, but it's not going anywhere. You also want to quit your full-time job so you can transition into content creation and make money and have that lifestyle, right? If this sounds like you, I want to share everything I've done up to this point to actually monetize my social media, including YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, things like that. So I'm going to share some tips that I've been implementing into my own strategy to grow my YouTube channel, to grow my Instagram and eventually make money. We're talking about brand deals. We're talking about coaching, mentorship calls. We're talking about digital products, all that good stuff. So you've probably heard this before and it's kind of cliche, but finding your niche. I agree with that to an extent because having a niche is very, very super focused and narrow. What you're going to do and realize is what if that niche doesn't actually pop off for you? What I would recommend is actually layering, right? So what are some subcategories that go in tandem with your niche? So for me, I talk about content creation, I talk about monetizing, and I also talk about investing in finance tips. Layering is much easier and better in the beginning because you're gonna realize that some videos are gonna pop off a lot sooner than other videos. So your idea, right, what if it doesn't work? You wanna have a backup plan to see, wow, this kind of content that I'm creating that I didn't really necessarily get excited for is actually working. And so for me, the day trading and everything that I talk about, it's interesting to me and I love it, but more people are interested in how to monetize and create really cool content. So my biggest piece of advice for finding your niche is to layer, use three subcategories and then start making content. You wanna split test and understand that each video that you're making is basically like gambling, right? You're throwing some content out there. It doesn't have to be the best. You just need to record and then put it out there. You're gonna eventually have a big enough sample size to understand, all right, these videos are starting to work better uh, because it involves, let's say yoga, right? And people really love watching your yoga videos, but you have calisthenic videos, right? These are, these are just examples, but you have calisthenic videos that aren't really getting enough attention and they're not really converting, but you love talking about calisthenics more than yoga. So it's really important for you to double down on, on what's working because that's what the viewers and that's what your audience wants. Layer your category by having three subcategories. Once you find out what category is actually working for you the best, then you can narrow it down to one niche. Mindset is very important because this is a long-term play. You know, you're not gonna get results overnight and some people, they get quicker gains. You know, they're gonna, you know, grow their YouTube channel and their social media a lot faster than yours and vice versa, right? So never compare, just do the work, stay consistent and continue posting. I'm not perfect, I don't know everything and I'm not a huge YouTuber, but I will say that I have generated income from growing my personal brand and actually bringing value to the table for my niche. You're naturally gonna evolve. You're naturally gonna get better at editing your videos. You're gonna be able to color grade. You're eventually gonna start uh, investing into equipment and things like that. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna realize that six to 12 months later, you realize that your first video is actually trash, right? Because you're not gonna be good. But over time with consistent effort, if you have passion and you just trust the process, your videos, your content, your conversions, everything is gonna go up and that's when you'll start seeing more growth. So just trust the process, have faith, and just get in there, get your hands dirty, make mistakes. If you hate the way you look on camera, if you hate the way you sound, uh, trust me, I don't like the way I sound on camera either, but it's all good. It's my voice and I can't change it. Equipment. I literally record all my YouTube videos and Instagram reels on my iPhone 13 Max Pro, okay? You don't need to have all this crazy expensive equipment. I literally have the iPhone, I have a selfie tripod, I have a ring light, I have a DJI gimbal, and then I also have a softbox light right here behind this camera. I never had any of this stuff. The only thing that I had was a tripod and my iPhone, and over the course of the last year and a half, I've accumulated the gimbal, the softbox light, uh, the lav mic, all that stuff. So don't rush into buying equipment. Just use the resources that you actually have because it's all about just experimenting, having fun with it, 
and just don't put stress on yourself. Just record, pick up your phone if you have a decent smartphone and just start recording, that's it. Branding your thumbnails. So a lot of people, they like to look at other people's thumbnails and see what's working for them. It's not necessarily like that because once you start building your personal brand, the people who actually love your content, they're going to look for your thumbnail aesthetic. So you need to have a, an aesthetic about your thumbnail that way they can recognize, oh wow, here goes Nate, and they can click on the next video. So that's the point of actually branding thumbnails. Obviously you wanna have clean cuts, uh, thumbnails with big fonts and everything. You want you want to have your face in the thumbnails. Um, all that stuff is good, and you know definitely research on how to create high converting thumbnails. But in the meantime, what you need to really focus on is branding your thumbnails. What's the color? What's the font that you're gonna have? Is it a goofy theme? Is it a serious theme? Right? Um, all that stuff you want to incorporate into your thumbnails and stick with it because over time, you're gonna notice over time that your viewers are gonna have your other videos on the side panel and if you if you don't stand out and they don't recognize your thumbnails, then they're potentially gonna just pick someone else and then you just lost another view because you don't have the aesthetic branding. Number one is AdSense. We all know that businesses pay money to YouTube so they can actually put advertisements on your videos. Digital products is actually one of my favorite because there's no cost of goods. You create a digital product, you sell it to your audience, and everyone's happy. Sponsored brand deals is one of the most lucrative ways to actually make money on YouTube because it involves brand partnerships. So brands wanna work with you. They wanna get their product and or service immersed into your content that way your viewers can actually see what's going on and they're gonna they're gonna trust you the most right so if if you incorporate your product into your videos they're gonna pay top-notch dollar and that's gonna be a really good money maker for you so a lot of people sleep on affiliate marketing and what I would recommend is any product and or service that you use you need to become an affiliate and provide the links in the description below, right? It makes sense because whoever's watching your stuff, they're gonna be interested in learning how to do things, right? So for me, I create content, I talk about partnerships, monetization, finance. So I'm gonna have affiliate links like vidIQ, uh, Canva, Epidemic Sound, I'm also gonna have like Robinhood. I'm gonna be talking about that a lot. So I'll probably have an affiliate link for Robinhood. Um, I'm, I'm also gonna have DJI products that I talk about all the time because I use DJI gimbals and drones and things like that. Why wouldn't you promote the products that you love and use, right? It just makes sense and you can make a lot of money on the back end. The top two money makers that you can actually generate outside of AdSense is sponsored brand posts and affiliate marketing. AdSense is not really that high on the list. And then number five is coaching services. If you have specialized knowledge in a specific industry, it just makes sense for your viewers to ask, hey, can you coach me? Do you have a mentorship program? If you don't have a mentorship program, I would highly recommend it because people will pay top notch dollar to get advice and knowledge from you. These viewers wanna shorten their learning curve and it's really up to you to actually help them out with that. So I have a few growth tips that I use to actually incorporate growing my YouTube channel. I use Instagram and TikTok Reels because TikTok Reels and Instagram Reels is a great way for you to get discovered. When you grow your Instagram account, all you need to do now is post a story and tell them to go subscribe and watch your YouTube video. So you're gonna have a lot of cross-pollination and people from Instagram are gonna come over to YouTube to see your long-form content. I would stay consistent with Reels and TikTok, double down on it, you know, make a reel every other day and then convert those individuals that actually follow you and ask them to go watch your YouTube channel, smash, like, and all that good stuff. VidIQ is a software to help you grow your channel, right? You're gonna get daily ideas, you, you can do competitor research, you can see what keywords are actually most optimal for your channel, and then also you can get daily, daily ideas on basically on everything, right? So for me, 
um, it's recommending me to talk about how to make money from YouTube full time, the method Nate Barnes uses to generate passive income, right? Like that's not even like me, that's AI recommending a an optimized title that way viewers are more likely to actually click on it right so you know right here uh, you also have the keywords so let me just click on um, I don't know why these top keywords let's just do YouTube growth right and then if you expand upon it right you're gonna see YouTube growth tips so right here you're gonna see related score search volume uh, medium right so you know this means monthly search is happening every single month and then overall so what I like to do is I like to stay in the green since I have a smaller YouTube channel I don't want to compete too much right now I just want to dominate a specific keyword so right here YouTube shorts monetization um, it looks like there's not a ton of competition and but there's a lot of searches happening so maybe I should actually create a video on that that way more people are actually creating these type of videos so if you scroll down to competitors you're gonna notice that I have some other youtubers that um, I'm monitoring and basically like she's gaining 40% right now I'm up 467% but I have a smaller YouTube channel so that's probably why I'm like you know getting more growth in them as of right now but they have 48k views I have three and a half K views so there's a huge difference and then also right here you're gonna see the top videos for my channel so I created a reel yesterday actually and you're gonna notice that I got 1900 but the long form ones this was this is actually a performing video so it has 289 views which isn't really a lot um, and it talks about how I doubled my day trading productivity over time you're gonna have a lot more data to understand what videos are working and what's not and bit iq is just it's just amazing they also have a new ai this is pretty new to me actually um, but basically it says write a script for a youtube channel about how to grow youtube <laughs> so i don't know what's gonna happen but this is insane let's see what this ai pops out for me looks like it's thinking wow so, I mean, it's basically talking about what I just talked about. <laughs> that is insane. So I can use this, copy and paste it into my description, but I'm not gonna do that. I still like typing my own description. I like to be more personable. Um, so yeah, we got some AI now in, in vidIQ. That's all I got, guys. Like I said, you don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect, but the most important thing is just to record, post, and stay consistent. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe smash the like button.